Welcome to boardshop.co.uk, surfboard review time. The Dominator 2 from Firewire, from the mad brain of Dan Mann. Um, and what a beauty it is. Uh, the original Dominator, as I'm sure you're well aware, had a fuller, rounder tail. It was a bit chunkier. Uh, it was one of the very first boards that Firewire did, and it was a classic hybrid. Lots of volume rolling all the way through it. Nice wide point further forward to help with paddling. And it was the perfect board as a first short board if you were coming off a much bigger board or if you wanted a surfboard that's going to work in all round kind of conditions, especially our uh, onshorey, bumpy type waves that we get below chest high a lot of the time. Um, depending on how you sized it, it ran from 5.8 to 6.10. There was a size and a volume ratio that worked for pretty much everybody. Now the Dominator 2, uh, the latest incarnation in Helium 2, um, <coughs> is a pared down version, a bit more performancey, but still has those important characteristics that make it a stable, forgiving, first time shortboard. So let's have a little spin around it. Um, still got volume running through the middle. The 6.1 is about 36 litres, so it's generally proportioned, generously proportioned, without being ridiculously overvolumed. Still got a nice bit of volume running up um, into the uh, area up here, which is important for paddling. But the wide point has come a little bit further back. And then the biggest difference, the tail is now a squash tail, and there's this little hip here, which just pulls in a little, a little bit more to give it that little bit more responsiveness um, and a better surf in better waves kind of thing. <coughs> Fin setup, it comes as a five fin setup. It works best um, as a thruster with these Rob Machado keel fins, which are a bit of a revelation. We tried them by accident and they really, really work. Otherwise, to give it a good drivey feel, if you're using FCS performers, that kind of thing, it works really well as a quad setup. Really, the first Dominator round, you never surfed that as a quad, it was always a thruster. So that's an interesting little insight there. Um, so, who's it work for? What kind of waves? It'll work in anything from thigh to good overhead waves. It doesn't mind a bit of bumpy onshore conditions. It's got enough volume running through it and in the rails uh, to deal with a bit of chop. But what you will find compared to the old one is that it gets into turns a bit quicker and it just feels a bit more knifey. The rails have been pared down a little bit to give it a little bit more performance, which allied with that pulled in squash tail, um, just gives it a bit more zip and a bit more go. <coughs> probably can't see this but there is a single concave under the front foot running into a double round here in through the fins and then V out the tail that kind of uh, concave setup didn't exist the first time the Dominator came round uh, but now it gives it a little bit more, more performance and a little bit more release when the conditions are a bit better if you're looking for a hybrid type shortboard that will work in a wide range of conditions super clean to bumpy the Dominator 2 is a really good option um, Two or three of us here have got them, surfed it over the last big stormy swells that we've had, as well as today's clean conditions, and it has worked really well. <coughs> um, we've been through the fins. So, Helium 2. The only difference with Helium 2 is how it looks. It's an aesthetic thing. The logo's changed a bit. There's this black colouring in the rails, still showing a bit of the balsa, but the same performance credentials apply, i.e. it gives you a more zippy, responsive surf, and the important thing about epoxy generally is that it keeps the performance of the board rolling for the whole lifetime of the board within reason. It will last performance wise a lot longer than PU. And not the case with all epoxies, but helium is super tough as well. Some of the boards I've got, Old Chumley, Dominator first time round, have barely got a pressure mark on them after years of surfing. And that is a trademark of helium. But I said, um, other brands do epoxy boards as well but they're not as hard wearing as helium, that's for sure. Um, so there it is, Dominator 2, the perfect one board quiver, cliche, yeah, I know. But it really is a good board if you want one board to cover thigh to overhead waves, whether it's clean or a bit bumpy and onshorey. If you're an intermediate or lower level surfer coming out from a bigger board, size it right up, go 6'6", six, 6'10", six, six, the 6'10 is like over 50 litres. Um, if you're looking for a more performancey everyday kind of driver, then 6061 at 36 litres, that kind of thing um, would be a better option. Online right now, um, as always, you can trade old boards in against them. Uh, bought by on 0% finance. Uh, can't customise them sadly yet, but there it is. Thanks for watching.